You can't fight the inherent nature of a material that is uncontrollable. It's always chance. So the fact of the matter is that one out of every three ceramics will blow up. And we just archive them. We put them in boxes. We kind of color, categorize them. We categorize them by year. And the basins ultimately started to become the new vessel being filled in with all of the kind of entrapments of the pieces that had blown up and the failures of the past. Reglazed, refired, reglazed, refired until they become this kind of um, archaeology of time. It was also weirdly somebody brought it to my attention that there was already a thing called basin theology, and it was a very um, it was like a, a theological notion that you know uh, was was teaching mostly young children to make ceramic bowls based on the, the theology of washing Christ's feet after the, the crucifixion. And I was like, oh my, oh geez, this is like the weight of that just in principle is so heavy. But the kind of lineage of it that I had already started to do and to try and make these things be what I thought they were supposed to be, it made a lot of sense. It was, it was kind of like this, this this vessel that caught everything and that kind of became the kind of um, the basin of, of all of my theology.